Hey guys, good morning. It's really early in the morning for me and I just sat down. I'm about to put on some makeup. And today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my minimal, out the door, everyday makeup. It's really fast and it takes no effort to do. And today's video is actually sponsored by NARS. I'm gonna be sharing their newest concealer with you guys. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It's their brand new full coverage concealer that has a really soft matte finish. When I first got these in the mail, I wanted to make sure that I played around with them for about a week or so to see if I really truly love them and I do these concealers are very good when I hear the word matte that usually really scares me because I have dry skin but this has such a natural soft matte look that it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't highlight any of my dry skin at all pot concealers like this are awesome to cover up blemishes but because of the formula it's also really nice underneath the eyes so I can use this on my entire face which I love you guys know one of my holy grail concealers is the NARS radiant creamy I've been using that for years it's been in so many of my videos it's been a huge favorite of mine and I was also so impressed with these NARS just does concealers really really well my favorite shade and the one I use all the time is the shade vanilla light Two. I also use the vanilla shade in the NARS Radiant Creamy. I love this tone. It's not too yellow, but it's not too pink either. I love this shade. When my skin tone is a little bit deeper, when I have a self tan on or like in the summer, I will most likely be using the shade Custard. I also use Custard in the Radiant Creamy in the summertime. I also really like the shade Light One Chantilly. I've used this one a couple of times too. It's just very, very fair, but it is a bit more yellow than the shade Light. You can see the difference that Light just has a little bit more of a pinky tone, which I prefer but if you don't Chantilly is definitely for you but yeah anyway let's jump into this minimal really fast everyday makeup look okay so I'm gonna start by filling in my eyebrows I always fill in my eyebrows no matter what makeup look I'm gonna do even if it's literally all I do and the brow pencil I'll be using today is the LA girl shady slim brow pencil in the shade medium brown I really like this one I find it easy to use and it does what it needs to do you know it fills in my brows it makes them look a little bit more full and then I'll just take my spoolie and I'll start to brush my eyebrows up because I love the feathery brow look. And once I brush them up, I kind of see where I'm missing, like, you know, where I have like some bald spots and then I'll fill those in. I quite like the look of messy brows, so that's what I'm doing, kind of. So whenever I do my makeup like this, it's usually because I have to go somewhere or I have to be somewhere all day. And I want to make sure that my makeup, even though it's minimal, it's going to stay on all day. So I am going to set my brows. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in the shade Light to Medium. This really, really keeps your brow hairs in place. So I'm just brushing them up so they have that feathery look. And then I'm just gonna kind of brush them a little bit down so they don't look a too crazy. I personally do not like to wear foundation on an everyday basis, so I'm just sticking with concealer today, but even though I'm not gonna put on a foundation, I am gonna prime my skin. I'm gonna use the Imani Perfect 10 Primer Serum, and I like to do this because, first of all, it gives moisture to my skin and I have dry skin, but also it's gonna prime my skin for the concealer that I'm about to put down. Primer doesn't only help your foundation last all day, it helps all the other makeup you put on your skin last all day. So I'm just gonna work this into my skin. If you are gonna be going out into the sun, you wanna make sure to put on some SPF. I did put on some SPF before I sat down to film this video. So like I said earlier, the concealer I'm gonna be using today is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm gonna take the shade Light 2 Vanilla, and I'm gonna use my finger to apply this. Make sure your hands are clean before you do this. You can totally use a brush and apply it that way, but I like to use my fingers because I feel like the warmth of my fingers really just blends this product into the skin. You barely have to tap into this and so much comes off, but it's not cakey. It just gives you such like amazing coverage. So I'm just gonna blend that in and I'm gonna focus this mainly right here where my dark circles are because mama's got some dark circles, but I'm also bringing this right into here because I have a lot of darkness in here as well. I'm also gonna take that onto my eyelids because I have a lot of veins on my eyelids. So I wanna make sure that it just covers them up. I look a little less like a vampire.
What I actually really love about this concealer is the fact that it's a pot concealer, but it's not super cakey, but it's also not extremely dewy either. It's not gonna make your skin look wet or shiny. I'm bringing this down here because I do have a lot of redness here, so I'm just covering that up, taking it onto my cheeks a little bit, and onto my nose. I'm also gonna take this concealer on other places of my face where I feel like it needs a little bit of coverage. I have a birthmark in between my eyebrows, and I'm just gonna pop that on. And on my chin. Okay, so that's all the coverage I will be putting on my face. I am gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna apply some powder. This concealer doesn't really crease that bad. I mean, it does crease a little bit, but honestly, I can go without setting it because it's not too dewy and it doesn't crease so bad, so that's also a really good thing. But because I am gonna be wearing this makeup for the rest of the day and it is early in the morning, I do want a powder just to make sure that everything is nice and set. But before I do that, I do want to apply another cream product to my face. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlight in the shade Who's That Pearl. It's just, it looks pink in the cushion, but it comes off a little bit more pearl. And I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks so it can give me a really natural glow without going too over the top since we don't have that much makeup on. I don't want to look like extremely highlighted. To set my face, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. I'm going to use this to set my under eye concealer. So I'm just going to take that powder and I'm going to just set everywhere I put concealer, literally. Pretty much my whole face. <laughs> this is just going to lock that concealer in place for the entire day. So you can see that even though we set down our makeup, there's still a little bit of glow coming from the areas where I put the Wet n Wild highlighter, like very minimal, but that's what I wanted. For the eyes, I always do the bare minimum when I'm in a rush. As long as they're concealed, I really don't care to put that much product on them when I'm on the go. So I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. I'm gonna use the Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Volumizing Mascara. I really like this mascara, but it doesn't smudge or get all over my face, which is nice. You might wanna curl your lashes before this step, especially if you're planning on wearing this throughout the entire day. But most of the time, I'm usually okay with just skipping the lash curler. Okay, so now all I have left to do is just finish up my face and to do my lip color. My face is just really easy. Every time I do looks like this, I always eliminate blush just because, I, I don't know, I'd rather put on bronzer than put on blush. So I'm gonna take my NARS Laguna bronzer. And the only reason I put on bronzer anyway is just to give my skin a little bit more color because when all you do is apply concealer, you look a little washed out. So I'm gonna take my Laguna bronzer and I'm just going to warm up the skin. Now obviously when you apply bronzer to your face when there hasn't been any foundation on it, it doesn't apply as pigmented or as smoothly as it would. So you might have to blend a little bit more, but it's okay, I don't mind that because I just think it looks really natural. And I like that you can see my skin peeking through the bronzer and that it doesn't look so perfect. A lot of the times when I do this look, I go for this bronzer or any other bronzer with a sheen to it because it does give your skin a nice healthy glow. I wouldn't go in with like a contour powder for this. Definitely use something that's just going to warm up the skin and make you look healthy. And I'm just going to blend everything out with a stippling brush. I do like to bring this bronzer onto the cheeks a little bit. Since we didn't apply blush, it's just gonna give a little bit of warmth to the cheeks. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight to my cheeks. Even though I feel like my face has a natural highlight to it, like very natural, you can't really tell, I'm gonna add a little bit more of a glow. I'm gonna take my Pixi Glowy Powder in Santorini Sunset, and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this color right to the tops of my cheekbones. Not too much, just add a little bit. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit onto the nose. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this powder to my inner corners, just to bring some light right here. And just a little bit to 
the brow bone. And I'm gonna take some above my brow bone, just a little bit. Now this next step is very important so that your makeup lasts the entire day. You're gonna wanna set it down with a setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Okay, so finally for lips, I usually just grab something that's gonna last all day, like a liquid lipstick or a lip liner or something like this. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Get Off. This is a newer color to me, but I have been using the soft matte lip pencils for years now. They are really good and they last all day on the lips. So I'm gonna take the shade Get Off and I'm just gonna apply this to my lips, but I'm gonna do it to where not a lot of pigmentation comes off. I just wanna apply a very soft layer of this. I just want to give my lips a little bit of color. Something that's not too crazy or too bold, but it's going to look nice and feel very lightweight throughout the day since I'm not applying too much. Okay, so normally I would just stop right there, but I want to apply this baby on top just because it's very hydrating and I don't mind reapplying this throughout the day, so I'll just throw this in my purse. This is the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Pink Kiss. I love this. It's like an oil hydrating treatment, but feels like a lip gloss. It's awesome. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This is basically the look that I do all the time when I want to do the bare minimum, but I still want my makeup to last all day. The products change all the time, but this routine stays the same. I know I've uploaded similar videos to this in the past, but I feel like I haven't done minimal makeup in a long time and it, it was time. If I were in high school right now, like this is the look I would do every day. But, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.